Hey guys, welcome back to the Adventure Fam. Um, here's another video for you all. You guys maybe already know what it's about, but before I tell you what it's about, let's do some little housework. If this is your very first video you've seen on my channel, smash that subscribe button, turn on that bell notification because you do not want to miss any of my adventures, any of my crazy adventures, crazy ideas that I have from now until who knows what. So stay tuned. And there's a video I've been talking about right now is you cannot wait for what I have to say. And comment down below what did you do this weekend? So you did something fun. What you just working all week then? Just catch it up on, I don't know, TV shows, YouTube, Netflix. Let me know, let me know down below. What do you guys did this week then? Oh, I died. So, we are back with week five of NFL edition. And I, let's just say, this is going to be a big week. Especially for Buffalo. Um, it's going to be a big week. I can't wait. It's going to be... I, I feel like a lot of these games are going to be really tight. Slow. I don't think one game is going to be really... Um, over one or over long. Maybe a couple, but... Majority of them is gonna be a hard, hard fight. So let's get right into this. So the game that happened on Thursday night was Los Angeles Ram and Seattle Seahawks and died. That game was so slow. It literally whoever won that game won by one point. And I I taught it from the beginning. I didn't film before that game. But I knew that they were going to be so slow. Um, both of those teams are just so well coached and have discipline. And they both have a mindset of when they have a game, they go out there and they fight to the end. And those two teams did it, and they one team came out to be one point ahead of the other by the final bell. It was a very close game. Alright, now going into Sunday, or today, which you're going to be watching this video, we're going to be starting out with the New York Jets and the Philadelphia Eagles. New York Jets is not looking that good. They have not won a game yet. The Eagles are, eh, they're average, they're 2 and 2. Um, so, with that being said, I think the they'll to go in the New York Jets' favor. Like they're gonna they're gonna come out there and fight for the the first win, but they might do it. But I I think either gonna win by three. Uh, and then we're gonna head into Jacksonville Jaguars and the Carolina Panthers. Now again, this is another team that's not doing that good. The other team is average. Um, the Jackson Shared Royal, they were good last year and the year before that, but then they're going down this hill. They're just going down. They're not what they won. Um, and the Panthers are coming off a win last week, and they're doing all right. They're staying in the path. So I, I think I'm going to give this to the Panthers with the W. The next day we got Minnesota Vikings and New York Giants. Um, this it's gonna be a great matchup to see Daniel Jones start his second game of his rookie season. He's doing he did really good last week. Um, so I'm thinking it's gonna be a tight ball game, but I also think 
Viking could win this by two touchdowns. Then we're gonna head into the fountain and the captain game. And this game is gonna be a good game. There's no question about it. This is gonna be a great game. Um, if I had a spin wheel, ah, I don't know if I can. It might be like what we saw on Thursday night. A very, very slow game. It's gonna come down to the wild. Then we're gonna head into the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints, with the Saints is still missing their starting quarterback. Tampa Bay is not doing that good, but they're still better than some team like the Miami Dolphins New York Jets, but they they still need a lot of room. But they maybe can come out and beat the Saints the team without the Saints uh, starting quarterback, but I don't think so. I think they, the Saints gonna win this one and it's close the book right there. The next one is the game of the weekend. This game, guys, is Buffalo play, going to Nashville to play the Tennessee Titans. And I, this game is gonna be not. This is gonna be not. So many Bale fans, Bale Mafia, everyone went to Nashville this weekend. Literally everyone, either if you're coming down north or you're coming up south, you everybody was in Nashville. A lot of Bale fans are in Nashville right now for this game, so it's just gonna be nuts. <laughs> Buffalo have not lost a game on the road this year. They won every single game on the road, so that's a good thing. Buffalo defense is the number one defense in the NFL right now. <clears throat> they're playing at a family, they're squad, and they're not allowing a lot of points. That's for sure. They're keeping really good quarterback out of the end zone. And also, they've been having turnovers Every single week, no matter if it's fumble, interception, whatever. Like last week, they had an interception off of Tom Brady. The week before that, they had an interception off of Eli. Just so on and so on. The Andy Dawson, they had one over there. It's just, it's gonna be a good game, and I'm calling that Buffalo's gonna win and make themselves four and one heading into the bye week the following week. Then we go into the Ariana Tarno versus the Bengals. Bengals not looking that good. Tarno's average. They're working with a working quarterback, Kyle Murray. He's looking, he's looking all right. But he's still needs some practice. But he's looking, he's looking good. I think I'm going to dip this win to the Ariana Tarno, Kyle Murray, with another win. Then we head to the Patriots. Versus the West game, which honestly the Patriots should not be on the field right now. They should not. Um, the West thing is, I'm, I'm putting some faith in the West thing. I need the West thing to win this week. I need them to beat Tom Brady and that Patriot team. Um, they just need to. I don't tell how bad they did the first four weeks. They need to come out and win this game. Then we head into a rivalry matchup between the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers just got their first win last week. The Baltimore Ravens were undefeated until a week ago. So, this is going to be a good matchup because who knows? It's Probably going to be a low throwing game for both of the teams. Um, and it's going to probably come down to the last second of the fourth quarter. But I think Ravens going to win. But it's going to come down to the last second. Then we head into Chicago Bears. Facing the Oakland Raiders. And both of the teams are average right now. There's 
Not amazing, but they're not that bad. They're white in the middle, um, but if I had to pick a winner, I'm thinking Chitanga Bill's gonna win the Open Radio. Then we head into the Denver Blaster game for the LA Chargers. And right here, I think the LA Chargers that are go out there and deploy Denver Blaster. Then we go into the Cowboy vs. the Pastor. With another amazing game of the weekend. This day to go either way. Either team can win this one. But I think... I think Cowboy's gonna win. But it's gonna be a tough fall. They gotta go out there and they gotta play with their heart. They gotta play with their heart to win. And they gotta play every single section of that game to decide who wins. Then we go into the Indianapolis Colts versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, I have, I think I know who's gonna win this one by for sure. And the Colts are doing, they're doing all right. But the Chiefs, is just, oh, they're the other second team that are undefeated. The only two teams that are undefeated is the Kansas City Chiefs and unfortunately the team that I don't like. We, I don't even have to mention the name. Pat Mahomes is just telling it. He is telling it out there. I think he's gonna have another bid week. Probably even over 400 yard passing. Maybe even um, a rushing touchdown or a long deep, deep pass touchdown for sure. So I'm giving this to the Tanner Tennessee. Alright, then Monday night come around, and who do we have on the main stage? We got the Cleveland Brown playing the 49ers. I have a feeling I know who is going to win, but the Brown went on prime time before. I want to tell you, uh, last Thursday they went on prime time, and they won. So who knows? I think, I think they do better on prime time than they do on Sunday. But 49er is looking phenomenal next year, so this is though either way. I kinda want 49 to beat the Brown, but the Brown might shock America Monday night. Just let me tell you that. They might shock America. So be ready for some football weekend boys. Football, let's go! Alright guys. That is all for week 5 of Tradition. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are ready for this crazy football event. But Sunday night, Monday night, Sunday afternoon, Sunday late afternoon. I hope you die are ready because it's gonna be intense. It's gonna be intense. It's gonna come down to the last second of the play. It's gonna be a fun week on the football. Alright, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumb up if you are excited for the exciting matchup, the close game. And, before we go, remember guys, find your magic moment. You are worth it. You are unique. And believe in yourself. You can do anything you want. Just tell yourself that you can do it. And have that mindset and go out there and do it. Just do it. Just do it. So with that being said, let's get into 